party candidate was a violation of the 16th of November. Candidate. Well, we're here. You can open your eyes now. Oh, do I have to? I think it's only fair, seeing as how you're hoping to be a member of parliament for the area. Not for long, I hope. I plan to move on to far bigger things. What, the cabinet? Are you kidding? A chat show on cable TV, or maybe my own wee column in the sun. You forget, Stephen. I rose from this sump pit. Hey, hang on a minute. You see that window up there? Yeah. I was born in that den. Really? I wonder if it's changed much. I shouldn't think so. It's still got the same egg box section covering the broken pane. <laughs> it's so cynical. Do you really think there's nothing we can do for places like South Govan then, eh? Oh, yes. We can cash into the leisure boom, throw a fence round the whole area and turn it into a safari park. <laughs> the place is full of bears anyway. Bears, Gavin? What's a bear then? A bear? Well, it's hard to explain, but I'll tell you this, you'll know one when you see one. Look. Look, is that one there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was there a second ago. It's just dived into the undergrowth. Oh, they're suspicious, we creatures. You'd think we're out to steal their souls instead of their votes. Oh, come on, let's go to lunch at Emilio's. Get me out of this graveyard. <laughs> Watch your dinner at that thing. Good God. You can kill somebody with that, you know. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you, you can have a bite now I'm finished with. And I'll tell you one thing. I don't envy him in the box. You see that? That is not a patch on Slumberland, by the way. <laughs> You don't have far sleep in some queer places when you're drunk, eh? <laughs> oh, here, yeah, look at that. Yeah, look, that's a good thing, that, eh? That could come in handy, that, you know? Must have fell off the back of a hearse or something. Well, some of the things are going to fell off the back of mine, eh? It's not just me, but see with this violation. There is a great many things crawling out from underneath the ground. Excuse me, sir. Can I just ask how you're going to vote in the by-election? Communist! Without a doubt, communist! <laughs> Tell them in, shut them up, you know. Excuse me, sir. Uh, how are you going to vote in the by-election? Liberal Democrat. And I don't know. <laughs> he touch a satire. <laughs> Thank you, Hosey, your Conservative candidate. Can I rely on your vote in the by-election? My vote? I mean, I mean, conservative? I mean, a joke's a joke. Please, I'm going. Oh, come on, mate. Please, be a pal. What? Go on, vote for me, please. I mean, nobody else will. I mean, what chance have I got around here? My mommy and all my mates are going to be watching Panorama. Now, look that stupid if I don't get any votes. Well, you should have taught her that. That's no my fault. You should have taught her before you pinned that bit of blue cake in your tit. No, but look at that. Look, I'm only a token working class Tory. They only put me up because it was cheaper than hiring a monkey for Edinburgh Zoo. <laughs> look, honestly, Jim, I'm no a toff. I'm a right wing hustler. I sell carpet off cuts up the indoor market. I mean, look. Look at the knuckles. I'm trash. Same as yourself. That's not a point. It's not a point. The secret of the ballot box is between me and my conscience. That's what I happen to be conscious at a time of <laughs> Tell you what, you one of these wee doormats, well, you at least think about it, eh? It mean a lot to me. It means bugger out of Maggie Thatcher, but it means a lot to me. Aye, all right. I'll think about it. But I'm not making any promises, mate. Cheers, mate. All the best. If you ever have any trouble with your constitutional rights, you come and see me at the indoor market, all right? Aye, aye. You see that, eh? Bought half a doormat. 
can't he help feeling there's something symbolic about that, you know? Election fever was growing in downtown Dublin as the candidates went fishing for floating voters. The Keeney Fox contest is expected to provide a tight result which is going to for the glory of last minute election year. Both Minba and the Scottish Nationalists were confidently predicting victory. Hello there, Jamesy. Oh, boys. What's the matter, Jamesy, son? You're looking a bit flustered. I may wonder. You've been out there lately. Place is hoaching me, media. I can't stop scratching myself. Pack it in or you have us all at it too. Yeah, that's alright for you. He's when they chased off way up Govan Road by the Labour Party. I was very near kicking myself. I thought they were snoopers for the SS. <laughs> What's that, Pong? Eh, hey, I said very near. I stuck short to the full article. Aye, but not that far short. What's that stuck down your trousers? Nothing. Say, just a salmon. Oh, hello, I'm at Pace to advertise, eh, Jamesy? Eh, hey, this is not an ordinary salmon, this. This is a historical salmon. This is the first salmon caught in a Clyde since 1890. Something. Uh-oh. Where'd you get it? Half a block with a chip van outside Prestos. Him, we clad him a cutch and he spins mere yarns in Taiwan, that you. Ah, you muggy. Who's clad him a cutch in, by the way? We block. One eye, one leg, plays the tin whistle. You must have seen him. He's a brick. Everybody up your street looks like that. Hey, I don't care if it is a yarn. Right, I want to believe it. I want to believe it, this can be a bustling wee tune again and I've got the biggest salmon in Gubbin. And anyway, if it's no getting better, how come the media's jumping all over us, eh? Tell me that, smart ass. It's nothing personal, James. Eh? It's what's called a litmus test. They like to watch how the people vote in a by-election and it shows them how the rest of the country's think. Christ, they could have saved ourselves some bother. If they want to know how Govan's thinking, they only need to ask one man. I wish Big Rab was here now. He could sum up the whole circus in one eloquent, well-turned phrase. It's all pish! Pish! Crap! What do you junk if it's all car exotic? Ah! 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 Oh my Why is god! It not? Oh, so- oh god, look to there! Oh my god! You beauty! A bit excited. Hey, Tadja! Come here and see this quick! Oh, what is it? What is it? Yeah. Oh! Oh, that's lovely, eh? <laughs> hey, what are we going to call it, Mo? I'm not going to call it him. There's a bloody rat. Where's your dad? Oh, he's watching the by election special. Oh, look oh, at hey. it. The Scottish Nationalist Party wants to put the Scottish people back in the driving seat to put our feet on the path of our historic march towards self determination. In a way which echoes the great days of Bannockburn, for example. Crap! <laughs> Will you wake up? Will you help me? There's a rat in the kitchen. A rat in the kitchen? What's it doing there? Well, it's not washing the bloody dishes, I can tell you that. <laughs> up after fat, my freaking <laughs> give me a hand. You know I've got a thing about vermin. Oh, I just know. Yeah, come on. You want to have me Come on, you idiot. You're a woman. You're supposed to know about Never mind that, no. Would you just help me get rid of the rat? Christ knows where they're coming from. Where they're coming from? I know where they're coming from. I know where they're coming from. Here's the trendies. They're bringing them in. They're bringing them in across the water. Oh, don't start all that again. Has the council not come about that window yet? Give them a chance. I only rung them three years ago. <laughs> yes? Hello there. Can I ask if you're interested in the question of women's rights? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'll need to ask my man. Hey, ma! <laughs> Am I interested in women's rights? What? No! Hey, who wants to know? What do you want? I- I'm here on behalf of Gavin Clark, your Labour candidate. Can we count on your vote at the by-election? My vote? How oh, for goodness sake, what do you want with that useless article? No, no, don't be so cynical, Mr Nesbitt. There's a lot we can do for Gavin, you know. Oh, isn't there? What you can do with them? Can you kill rats? Fix windies? Well, no, but... No, exactly. You're no use to me. Bugger off. Where you go? <laughs> hey, what? Wait, let me see this. Hey, what? Cheerio. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, look at that. 
Arana ha Sutton on a mat, pretty clever, isn't it? What are you in that? <laughs> no, it bloody well is not with it. That's not how I brought you up, was it? To rip the piss out of dumb animals. What's <laughs> that? Listen you here to me, boy. Listen you here to me. All of us is rats. But none of us is only a rat. And don't take my word for it. You read your good book, boy. Ask God. Hey, God. Shut it, you. <laughs> because I will tell you this. I will tell you this. She the Godfella. She the Godfella. He got a hold of Adam Nesbitt. At the off. And he said unto him. She them. She them with the, with the fur coats and the stupid faces. Them is my animals. So let them go forth. And never work and get plenty of nookie, you see? <laughs> and that'll make up for them having they having. There you are. Oh, I see. Thanks, Dad. That explains a lot. Hey, cheers, Dad. That really changed my life. Ah, uh, good. <laughs> now, Mary! What is it? Hey, where's my dinner hen? Is it in the micro? In the micro? You'll be bloody lucky. You are half an hour late, boy. Your dinner is in the rat. <laughs> in the rat? Yeah, permanently spite! For behold, the Lord God Nesbitt is a jealous God. <laughs> These prints of the old governor are awfully nice, aren't they, Lorna? Yes, the barefoot bairns and the hunger marchers. You know they're going an absolute bomb since all the heightened media interest. Oh, the poor were so picturesque in those days, weren't they? Yes, not like nowadays. Where are the quaint old characters of yesteryear, eh, Lorna? <laughs> Gone a warty by the war, Morag. Gone a warty by the war. Name a go. Yes, can I help you? No, you cannot, doll. I want the top man. Where's we Clatty? Uh, Clatty? Oh, you mean Mr. McCutcheon, who used to own this business? I'm afraid he's gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone? I mean left. Vamoosed, sold out and up sticks. But we thought he was here for over 30 years. And it showed, believe me. Oh, the cleaning up I had to do more of. Oh, I know. There's no room for mockitness in modern business, Lorna. Oh, my God, you've changed your tune, eh? <laughs> One minute, it's where are they now? The quaint old characters of yesteryear. The next minute is getting them out to buggery the clatty animal. <laughs> now that you've got that off your chest, perhaps you would care to tell me just exactly what it is you're in for. Certainly I'll tell you what it is I'm in for. I want some rat poison. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, huh? Look, just get out of here now before I call the police. Don't worry about it, darling. It's deep, <laughs> Why here not so you ladies can I? I mean, this is a rat. This is a quaint old gubbin, you know. I mean, clag a wee bit of and uh, whap it into a frame. Hang the frame next to your copper warming pan in your patio, eh? Oh, look, just get out. Now. I am gone, I'm gone. But I will tell you this. I will tell you this. There was no rats in this scheme. No, you trendies moved in. Oh, that's a terrible thing to say. No wonder the middle classes are being forced to live in ghettos. Aye, ghettos, you can ghetto back to buggery. Good. Leave <laughs> back with your God alone knows what kind of bugs you people are bringing in here. Talk about a sign of a time. Stupid. A river Clyde farm estate. Eh, for God's sake. Make you laugh, wouldn't it? You know what we used to call this place when we were boys? Rats Alley. Rats Alley, I'm saying, Rats Alley. Hey, you're too young to remember that, of course. But your father, he would mind. I'll tell you something else as well. See, in them days, there was decent rats down here. You know what I mean? They kept their cell to their cell. No, like nowadays, that's modern society, you know. You only get the rats you deserve. Yeah. But I'll tell you, you know who I blame? You know who I blame? These buggers here. All these buggers in here. All these wee active citizens. Yeah. I mean, these are the type that can get four big helpings out of Marks and Spencer's ocean pie. Look at that one there. Look. Kicking out. Kicking out all hypertense. He's a break into four chairs. All kicking themselves. 
Kies als staat aan invloed train. Uh, ja. Hang al met je aan vuur naar stroom, je noem. Dus, je noem al wie haal het uit. Oh yes, oh yes, lovely. Hé, dat zal du meer, very nice. Plenty of room for me and my tribe of wings and my bull terriers. Hé, hey. ah, that's right. Have a good look at me, doll. Have a good look at me. Look at me. It's me. I will neither walk nor want. And here am I buying a dirty big hoose. Hey. Uh, free market! Free market! He's in a free market! He's in a free market! Look, would you mind keeping the noise down? What? Some of us have to work, you know. Some of us have to fight by-elections. Some of us have to carry the flaming torch of pragmatic socialism through piss-stinking low-life dunnies and with only a measly half hour for their lunch! Here we are, man. I don't know you. I very much doubt it. Ah, I do. You're wee mad mental Gavi Clark. You and I used to go to school together. Nesbitt? Aye. I thought I recognised that head wound. You and I used to have run competitions. Well, I was certainly different in those days. Oh, certainly you were an idealist, eh? Thank God I had that educated out my system. Well, it's been awful nice seeing you again. Give a regard to the boys. You know, um. Jimsy! Jimsy Cotter! Aye, and we, uh... Um... We end up in it, end up in it, aye! That's it! Last time I saw those guys, they were propping up the bar at the two ways. Twenty-five years ago. <laughs> Wonder where they are now, eh? Well, if we want to find out, let the room be me and you. <laughs> I'm still waiting you to your round and... <laughs> Over oh, there! I hardly think so. There are your people, Gavin. It'll be a chance to find out their wants and needs. Oh, all right. Just wait there. I'll go and turn off the Mozart. Oh, don't bother. Just bring it with you. You can eat it in the road. Go on. <laughs> hey, boys. Look. You'll never guess who this is. Look. We got a clap. Hi, guys. <laughs> About time, too. Uh, two whiskey and a lager. <laughs> This evening's done wonders for me. I feel as if I've come home. It's so good to be with one's people again. Oh, no problem, Gavin. We know what you mean, don't we, boys? Oh, I wonder how I... I know, I know. You're joshing me now because I've lost my accent. But believe me, deep down inside, I'm still the same person. Oh, yeah, sure, of course you are. Can we believe that, Gavin? Huh? <laughs> hey, it's uh, your shirt again, by the way. Of course. Hey, Dougie. How come the swally pronto big man? Oh, eh? oh, hey, hello, hey, hello, hey, you. That's the uh, same again, by the way. Hello, you here, Gavin. That old street jab just comes flooding right back to you, doesn't it? <laughs> ah, don't you start, Doug. I'm getting enough leg pulling from these characters. But seriously, lads, it's great to know that you've all survived. Especially with the terrible upheaval that's been going on in Govan this past decade. And I suppose the recession has been pretty grim for you lads, eh? Hellish, hellish. Here, have another smoked salmon sandwich. Don't mind if I do. There you go, boys. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. At least there's one bloke going to be here that's no complaining because she's just sat work shut down. You see Doogie here? He has never had it so good. Not eight, Douglas! It's an ill wind, there, eh, Dougie? Well, you should know. It's blown your ass far enough up the social ladder. Touche, Douglas. <laughs> well, let's not dwell on the unpleasant aspects of life. We're here for a reunion, for heaven's sake. Let's enjoy ourselves! Aye, 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 aye. So listen, are we going to do some serious smiling or what? I'm for getting blutered. <laughs> Well, there's nothing I'd like to do more, lads, but if you'll excuse me a second, uh, I think I'll just go and phone the wife. Huh? Well, tell the bitch no to wake up. Hello, Gavi, eh? He has they changed a bit. Oh, aye, aye, deep down he's still one of the boys. <laughs> aye, and they've asked me to be the new Conan after Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Some night, by the way, boys. Some night, huh? Oh, I'm some night. Eh, Ram, is it all right to bring a carry-out back to your house? I mean, will uh, will Mary not be annoyed at that, you know? See that? See you, Clark? 
It's just like old times, isn't it? Come on, come on. It's my boy anyway. I just quit. I just saw red, you know that. I just split your chips. Thanks, Thanks, I'll get it for you. I'll get it for you. Come on. You coming in for a wee swelly? <laughs> yes, well, um, uh. <laughs> ah! Here's Stephen. I wonder what he wants. <laughs> You'll excuse me a second, won't you, lads? Hey, you boy, come here. Yeah. What the hell kept you? They were starting to get restless. I was nearly waving my wristwatch back and forward to try and dazzle them. I couldn't help it. You were phoning me from the pub. I could hardly give you directions for the noise. Anyway, relax. It's all good PR. They'll tell all their grisly mates, and you've got Westminster in your pocket. Yeah, it's the things I do for socialism. Oh, hold on. I'm going to spray some verbal aniseed around. <clears throat> What's that, Stephen? Oh, no. Lads, I'm going to have to pass. Would you believe it? They want me to do a pre-election head-to-head on Radio Clyde. What can I say? You could say sod Radio Clyde. I'd love to, guys, but don't forget the end of the day. I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing it for Govan. Hey, 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 hey. And remember, lads, on polling day, it's Labour. It's Gavin Clark. Hey, <laughs> Gavin! No, I know how David Attenborough felt when he had to eat swamp lizard with a pygmies. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, boys. Come on, boys. In we go. Uh, wait a minute, Rob. Are you sure this is all right now? Oh, listen here, what is this? Eh? I mean, this is marriage. This is marriage. What do you think I'm married here? An ogre or something? I mean, do you think, think she's standing behind that door with a rolling pin waiting to bash me over here, eh? Eh? Is that what you think? This is 1990, for God's sake. Hello, Mary, darling. Hello, Mary. <laughs> Did you see that, boys? <laughs> and sweet surprises like that that keep a marriage alive. <laughs> well, do you know me, Ed? I want you to know that it's almost ready, so anyone would know it should have the result of the Gavin South by election. Hey, you know, this democracy is no such a bad thing. At least it gets you a look in on election night, eh, Dougie? Aye, oh, right. If I see any ancient Greeks, I'll let them know you approve of their system. Aye. When he tell them thanks for the kebabs as well. Yes, Rob. <laughs> hey, Rob. Surprise, surprise, eh? You are treading on thin ice, Scott. Shush, <laughs> shush. Here comes the result. It's Gavi, look. I wonder what they talk about while they're waiting, eh? Uh, probably some high brow stuff, but way over our heads. I don't know why you bothered to turn up, you born again sheep shagger. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the crud in my pocket. You're gonna get a right good licking. Well, you're the right man for the job then, with all the licking <laughs> practice your tongue's had lately, eh? <laughs> and the candidates there, no doubt wishing each other good luck, as the returning officer prepares to announce the result. As returning officer for the Govan South constituency, I now declare that the votes cast in the election for the said constituency were as follows. Screaming Lord Nuisance. Yeah. Nuisance party. Nil. <laughs> Gavin Garmouth Clark. Labour. 17,330. <laughs> 
James Balloon McSwaggerty. Scottish nationalist. 17,333. Yeah! And the nationalists, modest as ever in victory there. I'll teach a big swine to take a scruff for granted. Ah, anybody, is it? Thomas McCarthy. Hey, wait a minute. That's only three or different. Hey. Four years. <laughs> and finally, Hugh, crazy prices, take a swatch at our stutting discounts. Okay. Conservative. One. Cheers, Bob. All the best. If you want a wee match and set for ruin the toilet bowl, see you at the general. <laughs> well, nice, but I never thought I'd see the day. Huh? You're full of surprises, Arab. Eh, what? My conscience is clear. I have done nothing to be ashamed of. Here you are. Come on, boys. Hey, Diggy. Aye. Pump a wee bit of arsenic in there, will you? <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. See that? Quaint old governed characters by Clatty McCrick. <laughs> See, that's the trouble with a middle class, isn't it? They think they can draw you in pat you on the head and, and you'll, you'll roll over and let them tickle you in the belly. Well, I will tell you that, boy. Or no turning me into a team rebel that easy. Hey, doll. Try pumping this above your fireplace. <laughs> Come on, James. I ain't right now. Hey, Clatty! You want to be ashamed of yourself, boy. You, you're taking the piss out of history. So what? That's what history's for. Calvin, go! Hey, 